If you didn't tell already, there's an obvious difference between these two engines. One, this is these are American versions of Tomy engines. One has a red running board, and the other has a white running board. There is the obvious difference there. That is the obvious difference between the two. And we could fix this by painting running boards on Henry. So this is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you guys how to um, paint a white running board on Tommy Henry. Or any Tommy engine you have. And it will turn out to look something like this. So, on to what we will need for supplies. Back at the art table here. The following supplies are needed. You will need the engine with the red running board without the white. You will also need the smallest tip paintbrush you could possibly find. This video is not advertised, but the best paint for a running board is our Craft Smart. You can find this at your local Michaels or Craft Store. And Craft Smart Black Point as Craft Smart Black Paint. So, if you're going on onto your Transferring your brush into your black paint from the white paint, you will probably want to use uh, a cup of water to um, rinse out your brush, or you can go to a water faucet. And now, as we are on the art table here, we have our desired Tommy Henry with the red running board. So we'll take a look at what we're gonna do. Uh, is a good idea. It is a good idea to get a paint holder as well. As none of these paints will affect the color of the white. But, as for the video given, for your paint, shake it up, open it up, and only pour a little bit, enough that you will need for your desired engine painting. So, as now, I'm just going to put the engine here, and we will paint the running board. So basically, when you're painting the running board, it is recommended that your uh, paintbrush tip will be hard and not soft, because when you do when you do this to the engine running board, the little hairs on the brush won't be going into the face or onto the smokestack or anything like that. So as we put dip it in here, you do not want to do kind of an up and down motion. You want to dab it on there. onto the engine time lapse activate frustrated if you cannot paint certain parts it can be done as you can see from about right here there's gonna be extremely there's gonna be extremely hard spots to get to on the engine such as behind the headlamps so do not get frustrated because when the engine is running forward from this angle it is kind of hard to tell when you're passing it except for the little bit of this eye so do not get frustrated if you cannot paint the behind the headlamps is very tricky just do your best and on back to the time lapse all right the engine is all done with this running board there's a good strategy for an instant dry, and I'm going to show you that next. So now we have the engine in front of a fan. So this is a brilliant idea if you would like to dry your running board. And you set the fan on high, on the highest level, make sure it's pouring toward the engine, and the air is going on it, 
to wait five to ten minutes for your engine. Hey, what better idea is it to run some of your favorite Tony and Trackmaster engines? You see now I poured the black paint in the uh, the paint right now, and what this is for is this, this is for the. Uh, Top of the lamps here, and uh, this little dot right here should be covered black. So it's not only going to do that. Right now, the camera I'll talk to you, viewers. Uh, it's a little dab. It's very, very gentle around it. As the paint should do the work, if you pour enough on it, it should fall down. Since this is a circular object. Um. If you didn't check out my other video on the review on the Tommy Henry, please check it out. Uh, hope for this channel to grow, be bigger, and uh, I'm also making renovations to my layout as well. So I ordered some some girders for my layout. I was a little sloppy there, but just make sure you don't make any big mistakes like that. Oh, as so you can see, the project is complete. Um. As I will do the touch-ups off cameras, you can see there's a little bit of paint missing off the ring board there and along there and stuff, which could be easily fixed with some uh, renovations. Uh, if you have paint anywhere, you could easily just scratch it off and it'll come off. Just like that. Along with the side skirts here, if you have any of them painted, you could paint it off like right here. You could just easily scratch that off. But hope you enjoyed this video, and now you could just let your new customized running board engine fly.